So each of us, what we need to remember is that generosity, this, this life that we live, is God's idea. He has given us everything that we need to live this life here on earth, to steward this life on earth in such a way that, that he is going to be well pleased. And in that idea, we also have to realize that he provides whatever we need. Now, think about that for a minute. Clear back in Genesis, we recognize that Adam and Eve, here they were living in the garden. And they really had everything going that they ever needed. You know, Adam had himself a little job, tend to the garden. They only had one rule, don't eat of that tree over there. Each of us needs to realize that this whole idea, this, this life, this generous life that we live, this, this life without reservation that we live, is a life that God has designed. And when we're living in that design, okay, each of us are going to find the satisfaction and the contentment that we intuitively know we want. Now, this is how we're designed. Okay, let's go back and think about that with Adam and Eve, okay, back in Genesis. Here Adam is living in the garden. God's created him, he's living in the garden. He has one job, one little job, tend to the garden. And there he recognizes that he's content because he's living with his creator. But God notices that he could use more. It's not right for him to be alone. So God created a helper, Eve, so that they could be together. And together they had one rule, and that was don't eat of that tree over there. And so they're living a very perfect life of contentment, satisfaction, completeness, acceptance, security. It was a life that each of us has desired in our hearts to live. And of course, being men, being mankind, they broke the rule. And because of that, they re immediately realized that they were no longer in fellowship with God. It wasn't that God lost them. He wasn't wandering around going, where did they go? It was because the fellowship, the uninterrupted relationship had now become interrupted. And they hid themselves. They, they, they were in shame. They were embarrassed. And they basically, they covered their selves. You know, I always picture them, you know, kind of, Oh, I'm covered. I'm, I'm naked. They covered themselves with their own abilities. And yet, even in their sin, even in their failure, even in that broken relationship, even in the shame that they were deeply feeling, God provided. And he did it through an animal. I like to think of it as a lamb, I like it because I like to keep it consistent throughout the scripture. The, the scripture doesn't really say it's a lamb, but, but picture this. Adam and Eve sinned. They're all blaming it on themselves or one another, or they even blamed it on God. Well, they blamed it on the devil and the devil blamed it on God. And, and there they are trying to project and cover up. Hey, I, I feel that, I, I've done that a few times myself. And yet God in all of that, and in their shame and everything else, God says, I'm gonna provide. Now I always like to picture this, this is kind of my strange thinking, but here's this little lamb on this idyllic little mountain, you know, grazing, you know, happy, walking along, walking along, just enjoying himself. And then out of nowhere, the voice of God, a lightning bolt, I don't know, something, the power of God comes on this lamb and bam, made into a shirt and a, and a pair of pants. Let me ask you a question. Adam and Eve were the ones that did all this and the lamb paid for it. Who got the bad end of that deal?